Uh, my name is Moliwe Gregory, a research associate with RITA Nigeria. I'm here today to prepare an ingredient called cowpea flour. The ingredient that you need to make this cowpea flour is cowpea, what others refer to as beans. These beans, the first thing is to sort it. Pour it into a wide surface tray and then salt to remove contaminants, evil infected beans and other debris that might accompany it to the market. Then after salting, you take it to the zinc to dehull the beans. So come with me as we go to dehull the beans. Add water. The water should be about one to three point five ratio of the beans. You soak it and leave it for about five minutes. So after soaking for three to five, uh, five minutes, the next is to dehull the beans. And this is the way we dehull the beans. You wash to dehull the beans. After, you add some water. Then you use strainer to remove the seed coat. This is the dissolved beans. Now, the next step is to dry these beans. We have two forms in which we can use to dry these beans. We can use braised platform under the sun and this will take two to three days. Or we use a conventional oven for 18 hours at 52 degrees centigrade. So we'll now take it to the oven to dry. After the hauling the beans, you pour it into a strainer to strain off the water. Then you pour it into the tray and spread it. Same of which you can you will also do if you are drying it with sun. You see, you spread it so that each grain do not stay on each other. Now you take it to the oven, which has been preheated to 52 degree centigrade. Then you put it in the oven. After putting it in the oven at 52 degrees centigrade, you leave it in the oven for 18 hours to be properly dried. At that particular temperature, the structure of the amino acid is not destroyed. Please be careful of the temperature which you dry your beans. Thank you. After removing it from the oven, you allow it to cool to normal temperature or let 
then you take it to meal. Pour it into a blender. And then meal. Cover it tight. This is cowpea flour. After blending, you allow it to cool. Ensure it is stored in airtight container. It will be used for further preparation of recipes. Thank you.